teaching, like I'm speaking to everyone, you know, individually, though, it's not, but just to really convey in, 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 in heart and soul, spirit and in truth, this, this real message. And this, these messages are kind of heavy, but there's a, there's, a, there's a joy, there's a good news in it once you know the truth. You know what I'm saying? Once you, once you begin to know the truth, you begin to see that there is true hope. There is true overcoming of these things. If we run away from it, uh, as so many generations have done, the half of the story, which is not told, they don't want to tell it because it makes them feel sad, so they're going to deny I and I, deny us the truth. So what Yah is clearly showing us here in continuing is that he is the one who called the four winds upon us. So this is not what the pastor tells you or the preacher, because they're not preaching his truth. You know what I'm saying? They're just telling you a little something to make you feel good, but leave you in, in, in leave you in the curse with with the curse accruing more um, negative and negative interest. But he is the one that allowed this Jah or Yah, if you please, that allowed them, the Gentiles, the enemies, the Europeans, and what we see going on even with these um, so-called police brutality and shootings or the black on black crime or the gangs and I mean just the whole gamut of it. We are we are still being devoured after they have finished um, knocking us around. We will then begin to understand what Yah wants us to do. So we, we have heard that word, you understand, and have come to a, a semi-state of consciousness by recognizing these basic truths, you understand, um, culturally, historically, of we the so-called lost sheep or black people. Right, but we are coming to the point that we are, we're beginning to really see what it is, it is to do, not just to hear. We are still in the period of having the wind blown upon us. We we are breathing a little bit, but Israel is now in the process. We are now in the process of becoming fully alive. And here in Hosea five and fourteen, it says. For I will be to Ephraim as a lion, and as a young lion to the house of Judah. Now, according to Beta Israel um, documents and evidence, um, Judah refers to so-called Negro or Black or Afro American Ephraim, right? But then Ephraim also refers to the Afar, the Ophir, and Ethiopia. And now we see the lion of Judah connection. He will be as a lion, and like say a mature lion, you understand, to Ephraim, to the to the African portion of, of the of the throne of David, the African Zion. But as a young lion, now to the diasporic house of Judah, speaking this now prophetically, I even I, I and I, I even I will tear and go away. I will take away. And none shall rescue him. Verse 15. Now, when, when we read this verse here in Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15, we see this as, as, as being the, the prophecy of, of the creeping coup against his imperial majesty, of, 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 of the Illuminati, so-called worldly or satanic revolution against the king of kings of Ethiopia, Kedemawi Haile Selassie, and those, those pictures where he's on the throne and he, he kind of covers his face. With, with that safari, the safari type of hat, um, is where, he, where in spirit prophecy is this, I will go and return to my place. Abu Kaddus, he went, returned to his place, the Holy Father, till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, right, speaking of, of the, the two families or two houses, Ethiopians at home and Ethiopians abroad, in their affliction, will they seek me early? In other words, as we are afflicted, the more we are afflicted, those and those who, who preach and prophesy the true message, the more ones and ones begin to seek Jah, and the more ones begin to wake up. Yah is the cause of Israel's troubles. He said that he will be a lion to us. He will tear us, rend us asunder. But he said, we will seek him in our affliction. So as we're becoming more and more afflicted, 
You know what I'm saying? Um, this is what we are doing. You understand? We are being afflicted by the wind, and we are seeking his face. We're seeking the Panaim, his, his truth, the truth of the triune God, the God of Abraham, of Yisahak, of Yaakov, El Elohe Israel, and his son, our black Lord and Savior, Adonai, Yeshua HaMoshiach. We will really be looking for Yah, you understand, during the great tribulation period of time. Some might be trying to say this is it. No, it can, and according to the prophecy, with what's going on, it will get worse. Yah is just trying to get our attention. He is trying to get us to keep and understand, overstand our part of the covenant, the Al Kidan, the Benai Barit, and what this world situation really hinges on. You know what I'm saying? We keep blaming the white folks, the Gentiles, but when we recognize who we are, we really are to blame. And in a sense, the Gentiles may be doing this because they know they're only doing their part. They're like a miserable servant. You understand? Know Aren't we all or shouldn't we all be? Should we not serve our master? Right now, here, we Israelites, Beit Israelites, refuse to listen, right? 37 and 10. Listen, listen up. So I prophesied as he commanded me. So he did his part. He, he, he was commanded and he did. And breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet. An exceeding great army. When you look at black folks in America, they talk about these prosperity pimps and preachers and, and, and past the dollar guys, right? Um, talking about that they raise almost $460 billion. I think it was almost annually. That's how they account these things per annum. Annually, $460 billion. Think about if that was being put to its proper holy covenant usage. This is why, because of that, the people suffer. You understand? The people suffer. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. All this, this great exceeding, this key word, army. Remember, we're in, in Numbers, the Hebrew book of Numbers, in this Shabbat portion. Um, Bahaloteka, you understand, which is if you stand up. That's what this Torah portion 36 is, if you stand up, the 36th degree, if you stand up. So they stood up, an exceeding great army. Ezekiel 13, 11, then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the whole, the entire house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dry, our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. This is what this is what this is what we're saying. But, but many people are so dead they don't get it. Our bones are dry. You understand? Uh, and the bones link with your ancestry uh, on 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 a, on a next level. We said we'll get a little more into that. But so you can understand that the bones, not just the physical bones, but the bones are linked to our ancestry. Bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. Who are your people? 